You think you know this land is your land. I did, but actually most of us don't. Woody Guthrie wrote it in anger as a critical response to Irving Berlin's God Bless America. You see, during his travels in the 1930s, Guthrie was witness to prejudice, violence, hatred, and hunger. And he felt that the last thing this country needed was Berlin's heavenly endorsement. Guthrie's words capture the endless beauty of this country, from the endless skyways to the diamond deserts to the waving wheat fields. But the original lyrics are actually full of radical ideas. For one thing, it questions the very notion of private property. And it balances those depictions of, of physical beauty with images of hungry people in, uh, in line at the relief office. Is this land made for you and me? That ambiguous, questioning, nuanced, angry, but ultimately hopeful version is not the one that we know today. The tougher verses are gone. They've disappeared. The, the arrangements are bland, are quite trite, aren't they? And so what we're left with is, is a piece that we hear performed so often, but we don't actually hear it anymore. It's turned into God Bless America. So what we'd like to do for you is perform a song that we often take for granted, but hopefully you'll hear it in a new way. I stood there hungry, I stood there at 